السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ والحمد للہ صلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ و منبلا ڈیئر بردر سسٹرز ویلکم ٹو انسپائرڈ بائی اسلام الحمد للہ جسٹ لائک ادر ڈیز وی ہیو اے ریور بردر ان آر شو ماشاء اللہ وی گوئنگ ٹو ہیئر ہاؤ ہی بیکائی مسلم اینڈ ہیز جرنی ٹو فار عمرہ ماشاء اللہ سو لیس لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس اوور بردر ہیئر بردر طریق ویلکم ٹو آر شو وعلیکم السلام ماشاء اللہ میں اللہ بلیس یو میں اللہ ایکسیپٹ یو اینڈ میں اللہ میک اے لائف آف جرنی دیٹ از بیوٹیفل اینڈ بلیس ان شاء اللہ بردر ہاؤ وین ڈو ڈن یور شہادا واز فور منتھس اگو فور منتھس اگو اینڈ یو فرام فرانس اینڈ یور نیم از طریق تھومس مسلم more love in Muslim side than the religion is very peaceful. The religion is very, yeah. And uh, one of my first uh, reason as well is because we, we speak, we share directly with God We talk with God directly, not with other people or, yeah. So you're saying we, because we um, connect with direct, with God, like in worship and we for our prayers only for God, uh, um, nobody in the middle. There's no middle man in, no the, middle in, man. in Islam. Exactly. Um, when you say middle man, what do you mean? I mean... Mm, so I was questioned before, um, you can talk with someone in the sorry my English is still no 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 bad. fine that's fine brother. but we can share with someone in the church or you don't see that person but you share with her with him or her. so are you saying um, about the confession yes confession. so you, this, you go in uh, to the church and you talk to one of the I would respect a priest and you tell him everything, all your problems exactly. and they say they forgive you. Is that what you mean? That's what so I mean. So someone playing a middle man? Yes. Um, Why do you think they play middle man? Why do you think, where did they get this from? Because you are from that faith yourself. How did that start? Do you know? The I don't know exactly. Okay. I don't know exactly. So is that why you think you were confused then? That I was confused about this, uh, this situation, yeah. Because uh, for me, I always think God is the reference. You have to speak with God. We have to. God is the creator, so you share with God, not with someone else like you. Or you can, but not in that way. Not like confession. But have you studied your old? religion yourself have you studied the bible yes, yes you've been to church so you know what you at least you had knowledge about your faith exactly that. okay taking a step to become muslim is almost like um you making a promise to allah the creator that you're not gonna you're gonna you're not gonna share no partners with him yes you're not gonna have you can't drink yeah. you can't womanize can get married of course yes um, also lots of things you can't have pork you can't have you can't go and clubbing It's a different life yeah. you see a lot of things you have to sacrifice yeah. lots of things do you think it's worth it it's worth it um, I did a lot of these things before uh, going clubbing but It wasn't my kind of life. I realized quickly it wasn't something good for me. So, so you think something was missing within yourself, even if you are... People used to go for clubbing and all that stuff just to have a fun and stuff like that. But you, so you thought something is missing within you? Some, it's like a jigsaw. You need missing. more than that. People go clubbing because... F for me, huh? people go clubbing because... 
they search something, they search to enjoy life, but it's not in that way. You need a guidance, you need God in your life, not alcohol, not, you don't need that. This is bad for you. What was the first thing that attracted you to Islam? Because when, in this Asian time, we know if you open any media, anything, and you'll find it's been titled as Muslims are extremists, terrorists, they they hate everything, they, they're not peaceful people. Mm -hmm. You know, all this negative stuff yes. happening around the world, it comes into it. But you chose opposite, you know, like you think they're good, you think they're better, you think they're peaceful, you think that religion is good. So your, your idea is totally opposite to what media is covering. Um, what was the first thing attract you towards Islam? What was the first thing clicked in your head or in your heart that you think unusual? I would say for me it's different because I know a lot of uh, brother and sister from okay, long time. Lots of friends. Yes. So I share with them and I know, I saw them how they deal with life, how they, the difference with me, with other people, not practicing. I can see the difference. The life is totally different. So you can see the happiness, you can see the evolution in life is different. So I will say, I was attracted by, by this um, this peace, this um, kind of life more than. Okay, it, can you explain me the peace? You know, because we're talking about inner peace, right? Mm -hmm. Can you explain how do you feel that peace? How what happens to you, like when you pray? First time you prayed, maybe, or the first day you done your shahada. How did you feel? peace within yourself. What was it like? I know it's difficult that? to explain but just to want to understand um, uh, because we are born as a Muslim. Some of us we don't, um, the blessing of Allah is, it's, we don't count them. Do you get me? It's there yes. already. It's always been like that. But for you it's different. You see the differences. You see you had to sacrifice for it. You had to leave your family. You, you, you had to leave your friends. I'm sure they, you know, lots of things you have to left for something special. That's that's it's a big sacrifice you made. Yes. So tell me about understand. Tell me how was it for you first day you done your shahada? How did you feel that inner peace? So my first day, I felt like free, free inside. Really, free, wow. free inside. Um, free from what? From Oof. my heart, from my mind as well. Wow. And um, it's this feeling of freedom. Oh. It's a beautiful word you used, my brother. It's a beautiful word you used. First time you done your uh, um, prayer, yes. especially prostration, you put your head and say you are the most high. That's what we say in our prayers. How was it for you? Because this is the best position be praying to Allah. That's what the Prophet wasallam said. How was it for you, first one? The first one was a bit confused because... You didn't know what to do? Right? Yes. Okay. But then I enjoyed the maybe third time. I enjoyed very... I feel something. I feel the connection. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. May Allah bless you, brother. Yes, brother. Um, you learn Quran. Now you're reading Quran. Part of Quran, not fully. Uh, I read some part of it. Uh, it's in my mind to I try to learn more, a bit more every day. Uh, communicate with a lot of brothers as well. My objective for this year is. have a lot of, um, grow up my knowledge in Islam and learn Arabic as well. Mashallah. Mashallah. Tell me, um, have you, has your family knows that you're Muslim now? Has they? Yes. What was their reaction? If, you, if only if you want to share it, if you don't want to share it, no problem. No, the reaction of my family was uh, quiet. 
you know, because no, nothing special. Nothing special. Uh, were they happy you said anything? I don't really know because it was quiet. They don't have, they didn't respond? Yeah. Okay. Um, how about your friends? I'm sure because you're not clubbing anymore, you're not going out with them anymore. You're, you're more on your own or, yes. and, and you're looking, you know, you're more of your peace within yourself and you're not going to those things you used to go before. How are they reacting? Some of them... Uh do they make fun out of you or anything like that? Like, say, ask me question why I become Muslim. Uh, but no, not really fun. Not really fun. They just don't understand. Is that because you're a boxer? Is that because the, I no. can't make fun out of you? No, no, no. You, you will do. Um, no, it's just. Because um, there are some cases there, some of the people who who done the shahada, but they've been kicked out. They they had to stay outside. Some, some of them time. cut contact with me, literally, they cut, but let's say, uh, I don't know, just me, I feel better. So I think everybody has to uh, have to find his happiness, where is, where is better in life. Do you think you become a life? better person? Yes. In what way? I'm more humble now. You're more humble? Before. Yes. That's because God said you to be humble. Yeah, that's why you're humble. Exactly. More peaceful, more humble. Um, because now you're a Muslim, so you actually almost like uh, made a... Made a um, you submit your will to the will of Allah. So we always do what Allah says us to do it. Now you have more duty towards your parents. Yes. You know, even if they're from different faith, but now your duty to love them, respect them, look after them. You know, that's that is a big ask as well. You know, yes. even if they don't even if they don't want to know you, but your job is to, you know, connect with them, help them in the old age, look after them with every sure. means you have. That's that's the duty. Um, do you think it's difficult duty or do you think it's, it's it's fair duty? It's difficult. It's difficult. It's fair, but um, I'm not really in contact with them like every day, so it's a bit difficult for me. But I can do it. I will try my best to to do it. Inshallah. Okay, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Are you, I, ha I was talking to you earlier, so you want to become a boxer. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to become, uh, you, do you want to become a professional boxer? Or? Yes. Uh, How long have you been training? I started uh, boxing four years ago. I was in Caribbean at that time, in Guadeloupe. Mm, my life was... Uh, a bit like clubbing. I was in one circle. Were you drinking of, before? Yes. Drinking, smoking. Then I stopped boxing because I always want to do it. I start and my life just changed. Not like uh, the day after, but I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day, for example. And I stopped. Like one, then fifteen, then ten. I start uh, running, go to the gym, and I very like it. I very it's my passion. If your old friend come to you, or the priest, or or the nuns, they come to you and say, "Okay, you love uh, your Muslim now. So explain to me. Um, we also follow." the Creator. Tell me what's the difference between those two uh, um, explanations. What can you explain? Mm. Because they also say we believe in the one God. Trinity is there but we believe in one God. So Not you say you believe in one God. So what difference did they make? What, how, how would you explain that? Some of them told me uh, they pray for Jesus at the same time. So it's 
I'm confused with that already. If they pray with Jesus, God, and at the same time, Jesus is throne of God. So, let's say, I will say the practice is not the same, first of all. Because we as a Muslim, we say Islam is not a new religion. We say this is the Abrahamic faith. Yes. In the Quran it said you're following the Abrahamic faith, you're millet of the Ibrahim. So somehow that we have to know what Ibrahim believed. Somehow we have to know what our Jewish friends, they believed because Moses is Jewish and other. Mm. We need to know what they believed, even Jesus himself. So we never find that um, creator becomes creation. We never find that anyway. We never find that God is all-knowing. If anyone claims to be God, he has to be all-knowing. And we know there is nothing in the creation. He said, I'm all-knowing. Mm -hmm. There's nobody claimed I own the universe, sun on the moon and anything. Nobody claimed, only God claiming, I made them, this is mine. Yes. I'm the owner of all these things. No one else claimed. No other you know, people things we worship. They never owned it. They never said that um, I'm the creator of the sun and the moon and everything else. They never, no one claimed that. So when it comes to, um, exp I think Surah, Surah Ikhlas is the, our way of saying that God is one. Mm -hmm. If we had two, it would be a problem because the two would have the two choices. And also another thing, who created the one? Because he's eternal. He can't be created. God can't be created. We say God is eternal. So everything we know is everything being born and die. There's a beginning to the end. God doesn't have a beginning to the end. He's always there. He's eternal and independent. Mm -hmm. And everything else is dependent on sleep, food, uh, um, you name them, everything. So yes. God can't, we say God can't be like that. Um, he can't depend on something. He can't, he's, he's a perfect being. And nothing in the creation is like him. Nothing. So anything we say we know, mm -hmm. we can shape it, it's not, it's not God, because this is all his creation. So imagine I made this cup. I'm not like a cup. So now that I become like a cup, I am cup. I'm not human anymore. Do you get me? Yes. So that's how we say God is. That's how we actually define God is. Um, my brother told me you're learning Arabic and you want to tell me about your experience. Look, not many young Muslim actually done Umrah or been to the Hajj. Yeah. You just became Muslim, mashallah, four months and you've been to Umrah. Tell me the journey sure. of the Umrah, please, if you don't mind. So my uh, experience of Umrah was lovely, if you can. very lovely, um, amazing experience. So I have this chance of be selected with some brothers. We was uh, a group. We went uh, in uh, Saudi, in Mecca for five days, in Medina for five days. So I pray in Mecca, I saw the Kaaba. How was it for your first time watching the Kaaba? Wow. It was like a flash. Um, when I look at the Kaaba for the first time, I saw a flash and it was uh, amazing. Amazing. Something beautiful. I can't really explain. <laughs> so, uh, how many people do you think you all prayed together? How many people, like Fajr or whatever, how many people do you think you prayed in one go? How many? How many people? What's the number of people prayed together in, 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 in Kaaba? It's a massive, massive, massive mosque, right? Yes. Uh, Masjid right, al-Haram uh, is one of the biggest mosques you can have. So. I think uh, uh, I don't know exactly how many. It <laughs> was, uh, how was it for you? Because your your first experience meeting other Muslims from the different part of the world. Yes. And you live with them for five year, five days. You said. Ten days. Uh, Ten days yeah. together. So share me other. Uh, what did you do, and how was it for you? How was the relationship with other people, other Muslim part of the different pingi? How was it for you? So I met. I met. Uh, different brothers from yeah, different country but it was all the same 
go to pray, be happy, cheer on life, each other, share the food. Mm. Some of them, we, we're still in contact now, so we... Can I ask you something personal? Because yeah. a lot of people actually um, does that. Did you ever, um, in your prayers, did you ever cry? No, I don't pray in my prayer, no. Okay, did you... Um, I, f I feel um, very intense, it's intense for intense. me, but okay. I don't pray, I don't cry. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, Lots of people after the Shahada or before the Shahada, they usually see dreams. Like some of guide, you know, like you're doing okay. You know, like um, some people see that um, they're doing amazing things. Or some kind of, you get um, to the dream, you feel um, peace. You know, like peace. Do you, did, you, did you ever happen to you? Yes, I feel that peace. I feel that... Uh, constant pains inside I'm more every time when I finish to pray um, I feel that peace inside I'm more in ball and it's like all my problems finish I don't wow wow I don't know really I don't really know how to explain but it's like all my problem is done alhamdulillah that's, that's amazing my brother that's amazing um Brother, you, you're not married, are you? No, I'm not. Not married. No, okay. Not yet. Um, did you have a relationship with anyone before? Yes. So what happened? Did you break down or what happened? So or you don't want to share? No, I'm, I want to share. I still have um, a relationship with uh, a woman. It's difficult, but she accepts everything. She accepts Islam. She's not Muslim. Mm, I talked with some brothers as well. They told me, oh, you can marry her, but uh, I'm still confused now. Still confused. So we talk a lot and I try to, to find the best way to, to engage. China. You know, you, you amaze me, brother. This this is the age where young people, I mean, even Muslims, is where young people they are more doing things we you know expect they to do. You know, like um, they think the pieces in the fun in the club, pieces in drinking, pieces in whatever you name them, smoking or mm -hmm. in humanizing or you, you, all those things. But amazingly, like you said, you actually are a, a practical. Um, person, you've been there, you didn't get that, but you found it leaving them and you found in their priests, in their prayers, reading Quran, doing your tasbih, and, and, and that, that, that amazes me, that mm -hmm. amazes me, especially. Um, so, can you share a minute with our brothers and sisters that are watching young people if you could tell them some advice? So, yes, the advice I can say, give, it's to cherish the peace, the peace, not the, the movement of go rent out, go um, with girls, party, this is not the real peace in life. The real peace is when you found good, when you you share with brothers, with sisters. That's the real peace. When you. But some people need to found found them. I think and like they try, there are lots of halal try. funds there. You know, like you don't have to be. Uh, um, um, hiding or private funds. This, this is where the problem starts. Why should they be hiding and having fun? I mean, share it with everybody. That's, yes. that, that's the idea of Islam is, you want to get married? Get married. Be legal thing. Let people know you're married. So the, the, the babies and everything else. So you don't hide away. You don't run away. Yes. You know, you have to be frank. You have a responsibility of the baby and the mother. 
with the respect if you just uh, don't have no uh, um, any engagement yeah. yeah so that's very important in Islam so that's why we say it's important to uh, be upfront and share your love and your your, your ideas yes. with the community so thank you for your time today it's, it's been amazing thank you, and may Inshallah. Allah bless you my brother and may Allah keep you in the right path and um, hope we all meet together in the paradise dear brothers and sisters we were talking to my brother Tariq is a new name He's an amazing young man, mashallah, the way he found the Creator and the way he speaks about him, can you imagine the, what's going through his heart and his mind, it's amazing. Um, a lot of us born as a Muslim, maybe not practicing, so we can learn something from him. He, done, he only became Muslim in four months, but mashallah, he done the Umrah, wallahi, and the way he explained the Kaaba, the, his feelings, first time he saw the Kaaba, it was like a flash. Most of us haven't been to Kaaba. Why don't we go for Umrah and have a, instead of going to other places and get that love and, and get the, submit yourself to the will of Allah. And that will make the difference, inshallah. So if you said anything wrong, please do forgive us. Make dua for us and we'll make dua for you. May Allah bless you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.